Welcome to Extending Mixing Colours. In this lesson I'm learning to solve difficult ratio problems. Let's imagine I'm trying to make a fizzy orange drink. Uh, in my first mixture I add 5 parts of orange to 20 parts lemonade. And in my second mixture I add 4 parts orange and 16 parts of lemonade. And you can see down here I've got my first mixture where there are my 5 parts of orange and here are my 20 parts of lemonade and down here is my second mixture which has got 4 parts of orange and 16 parts of lemonade. Now you can see it's going to be very difficult to compare these two because they're made up of a different number of parts. So to start with, I'm going to change both of these ratios uh, into fractions and for the numerator I'm going to have the amount of orange. So for mixture 1, 5 parts were orange and that's out of a total of 25 parts because there are 5 parts orange and 20 parts of lemonade. And my second mixture um, four parts for orange, so that's my numerator, and it's out of a total of 20 parts, because four parts for orange and 16 parts for lemonade. And you can see I'm still left with a bit of a problem here, because these two fractions don't have the same denominator, which makes it difficult for me to compare them. So I've got a couple of options. I can change them so that they do have the com a common denominator, or in this instance I'm going to change them from fractions into percentages. Let's start with this one, 5 out of 25, or 5 uh, twenty-fifths. Now I know I want to change that into a percentage, and I know percentage is out of 100. So for me to change the denominator to 100, I'm going to have to times that by 4. So since I've times the denominator by 4, I'll have to times the numerator by 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and I know that 20 out of 100 is 20 percent. So that was mixture 1. <coughs> now let's have a look at mixture 2. Now for mixture 2 we worked out that <coughs> a ratio of 4 to 16 is the same as 4 twentieths, so just like before I'm going to change that one into a percentage as well. There's a few different ways that I could do that, but I'm just going to use a very similar method to what I've just done. I know that a percentage is out of 100, so just like before I'm going to change this denominator from 20 up to 100. So to do that I'm going to have to times it by 5. Since I'm timesing the denominator by 5 or making it 5 times bigger, I have to do the same to the numerator and make that 5 times bigger. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 out of 100 is 20 percent. So you can see that 20 percent of mixture 1 is made up of orange and 20 percent of mixture 2 is made up of orange. So they're actually going to taste exactly the same amount of, well, taste as orangey as each other. Now let's try another question. Uh, this time I'm still trying to make a fizzy type of orange juice, but in my first mixture I'm going to add three parts of orange to every four parts of lemonade, and in my second mixture I'm going to add five parts of orange to every four parts of lemonade. And I'm going to start the way that I did last time by changing both of those into fractions where orange is the numerator. So here, three parts were orange, and I know that's out of a p total of seven parts, because four plus three is seven. Over here in my second mixture, my numerator is going to be five, because five parts are orange, and my denominator is going to be nine, because five orange parts plus four lemonade parts is going to equal nine. Now in my last example I looked at changing both of these into percentages or changing them so they had a common denominator, but sometimes I don't have to do that. Let's have a look at this, uh, this fraction over here first of all. 3 sevenths. Now if I look at 3 sevenths, I know that 3 sevenths is less than a half, and I know that because half of 7 would be 
3.5 or 3.5, so 3 is less than 50%. Now I haven't worked out exactly how much 3 sevenths is, but I just know that it's less than 50%. Now if I come over to 5 ninths, I can straight away see that 5 ninths is more than 50%, and I know that because half of 9 would be 4.5 or 4.5, and, and I know that 5 is more than that, so that means 5 must be more than 50%. So just like in my mixture 1, I haven't worked out exactly what percentage 5 ninths are, but I know it's more than 50%. So if mixture 1 has got less than 50% orange, and mixture 2 has got more than 50% orange, then mixture 2 must be the drink that's going to taste the most orangey. Let's try one last example, and this time I'm trying to make a really orangey drink. This time I'm going to add three parts orange for every one part of lemonade, and in my second mixture I'm going to add eight parts of orange to every two parts of lemonade. Well, let's start the same way that we have before by changing them into fractions, where the orange is the amount of orange is the numerator. So here there are three parts orange, and that's out of a total of four parts, because three plus one is four. And over here, my numerator is going to be eight, because eight parts are orange, and that's out of a total of ten parts, because eight plus two is ten. Now looking at both of these fractions, I can see that they're going to be nice and easy for me to change into percentages, because I know that 3 quarters is the same as 75%. So now I just need to change 8 tenths into a percentage, and I'm sure you already know that 8 tenths is 80%, but we could just check it if we wanted to, just like before, we want to change it so that the denominator is out of 100, because that's what a percentage is out of. To do that, I had to make it 10 times bigger, so I'd have to do the same to the numerator by making that 10 times bigger. 8 becomes 80. So it's really easy to see that this second mixture, up the top up here, this one here, is going to taste the most orangey. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.